Welcome back to the second part of the podcast tonight here. You just listened to the Utah man and I discuss Utah, Oklahoma State football. And now, of course, I'm joined with very good friend, ex or old coworker, whatever the right terminology would be that sounds better, um, and fellow huge college football fan. And now SEC, SEC fan, I think. Am I right in saying all that, SEC. Patrick? That's right. Yeah. We'll see if you're... We'll see if... Uh, you guys are chanting in five years, but for this year, you look great. You know, Texas looks great this year. Nothing, to, nothing. Yeah, not about, really. Right? And I, I usually come on this show, and I am very pessimistic, and I am very sort of um, rain cloudy and glasses half empty. We're not going to do anything. We're just mediocre. I'm not going to waste time doing that, Calvin. We'll, we'll get into that. But yes, it is a very, very fun time to be a Texas fan. Um, we have a lot of options on the table in front of us as far as the future, which I'm sure we'll also talk about, um, but they're all good options. So yeah, it's a great time for Texas. It's a great time for college football. Seems to be a good start for the Cowboys as well. So uh, a couple of 3-0 and fan does, bases over here. Does, yeah. we're, we're having a good September so far. It's it's been good. It's been good so far. Uh, it has not been good for Tulsa though because they just got their. I mean, one, I after doing the interview with the uh, the Tulsa guys last week and learning that their starter is a red shirt freshman who originally was a walk on, I had different expectations of what we should be doing. You know, they had lost just lost to Arkansas State. The game was favored by twenty, so like we took care of business. But if we hadn't, that'd been a real real red flag. I, I want to ask you this mainly, though, just because I know you're not I know you're not Oklahoma State bias. You know, I, I know you, you were not born into Oklahoma State, Texas. Who, who knows? But Oklahoma State, I know I know you're not biased. So what do you think of the Oklahoma State Cowboys? this? Uh, I think you're off to a great start. I think the Arkansas game was a great win because it's a game that you could have easily lost and and maybe other Oklahoma State teams uh, would have lost. <clears throat> I certainly feel that way about Texas where you you squeak out some games where you're like yeah our old group of guys they just they wouldn't have gotten that you know so i i I thought that was a great team win i did kind of think arkansas blew the game a little bit (laughs) you know they they had a great chance to win it in in regulation i think you and i talked uh briefly on the phone in between the fourth quarter and and ot or or sometime in that you know, maybe maybe in between one of the overtimes, I think. Anyway, um, but I remember going, they're good. You know, once like they're going to win this game in overtime, like Oklahoma State is the better team. Uh, long story short, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I think this is probably an eight and four football team, maybe a nine and three football team. But I'm mm. not sure this is a college football playoff football team. I will I, I will say that what I've seen of Bowman has impressed me. He looks better than I than I've seen him look in the past. Um, and I think I think this is a good football team. I don't have a great sense of their defense. I think um, I'd like to see some more from that. Tulsa is not necessarily the best uh, the best test there, but. I will say Tulsa should be a little more interesting than they were because they've got uh, they've got Ohio State's longtime offensive coordinator, like from Urban Meyer and Ryan Day's, you know, college football playoff teams. So he's kind of the new the new CEO of that Tulsa program, but um, certainly didn't put up much of a fight. So. Yeah, they played all three quarterbacks, which when you're playing all three quarterbacks in a game. You're probably losing by a lot. I wish we had shut him out. That would have been the one really cool thing that to at least say at least we, hey, we shut out Tulsa. Yeah, giving up 10 points is no big deal, though, at the end of the day, especially when we're probably all putting in backups, especially after they score three. Then we're definitely putting in backups. You know, we're not not messing around is the hope, at least. But what what makes you say eight and four, nine and three uh, so far watching Oklahoma State? Do you? Do you not love that Arkansas win? Because I, I honestly don't it's either. Fine. So I'm not. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying everybody I don't. Everybody would yeah. probably say Arkansas is like a bottom third SEC team, probably, but still, still definitely a good win. W- was it on the road? I forget. No, it was in Stillwater. Yeah, it was no, that was yeah, yeah. yeah um, I think Utah is a very tough game. I think Kansas State is a very tough game. Back to back, those are very tough. Um. You know, I think you guys, you, you'll have to help me on the home visitor, but I think you guys go to Morgantown. You know, you, you play you play Baylor, I believe. Um, I was just looking at the schedule going, 
man, this is, this is dicey, especially that it's, it's right now. I mean, so no time to, no time to think about it, but Utah and Kansas state, that is a really tough, uh, tough back to back, especially with how good Kansas state looked the other night against Arizona. So I just see some big 12, the big 12 being a little tougher than people think Colorado. I think you guys close it out against Colorado in Boulder so we'll see. I, I'm not really a believer in Colorado, but that's a tough game as well. Yeah, I mean, like West Virginia at home. All right, great. At least we play them at home, but still they're not going to be easy. And then um, the, the one game that I, at least right now, I've circled on the calendar as a possible worry, but granted, got to get through the next two weeks. Like just a, just a team that I've been watching going, wow, they're much better than I thought they'd be, is Arizona State. I just did not think they were... And they, and they could honestly just not be very good, period. And Mississippi State could be horrible. But they're an SEC team, so I put some stock in winning that game, especially the way they did where they really had the whole game under control and then basically let Mississippi State within a touchdown there at the end to make it look a little bit better. But, yeah, I don't I don't love the Arkansas win just because it was, it was like a grinded-out win. But that's kind of, I want to say it's a rarity. That was so close to be, being their game. That that was, you know, if, if if we're talking about how we love Gundy as Oklahoma State fans and, hey, man, he just really grinded one out there, figured out a way to win when no one else would or could should. That's about as close as you can get to grinding. I mean, like double overtime, miss the P. You, you do not have kind of the football yeah. gods on your side when you miss the yeah. easy field goal in the first overtime and stuff either. And then you go back and win in the second. And the, the other thing I'd say, too, is like Oklahoma State is... um I'd say I'd say coming into the season, everyone thought, hey, this is the Ollie Gordon show. Like, let's let's see what we've got. It's Ollie Gordon or bust. That's it. And so far through three games, which two of them were just, I mean, an FCS team. I know it's South Dakota State, but still an FCS team. And then Tulsa, who's not good, not good. I mean, they're just there's not they're just rebuilding. They're they're working through some stuff, whatever. And, you know, I know the Arkansas deal is in there, too, but we're one hundred and twelve yards Eesh. per game rushing three games into the season going to Utah. Like, I just don't, it's not a recipe. I don't love our O-line play. I don't love our run blocking. I don't love all that type of stuff. You know, it's, it's, there's, there's some validity and in, in basically the criticism. Yeah. The so problem far. too, is that, um, yeah, the problem is- your, your best chance for the playoff out of the big 12 is obviously to win it. Um, I think nine times out of 10, the champion is, is, you know, Champion could be the only Big 12 team. Maybe they get two t- two teams in something. Um, but the problem is, I think OSU's toughest games are all in conference. And again, it starts this week with Utah. I don't know if Cam Rising is playing. I don't know what the situation there is. But OSU is kind of on that same plane with some of these teams like Utah and Kansas State. And you could argue Colorado, <laughs> you know, Arizona State. Um that it feels like they're going to lose some of those, you know, some of just aren't going to go their way. They had a hard fought one against Arkansas. So that's where I'm coming from. I think they make a good bowl game. Like, uh, and I mean, we've talked about it. A, a three loss team could make the playoff. I don't know if a three loss big 12 team could make the playoff, but if they turn around and beat, uh, a, you know, a, a backup Utah quarterback by a lot, you know, if they make it look good, you know, there's not that there's just not that many games in a football season. You steal a couple like a Utah game against a backup quarterback and suddenly you're on a good path. Yeah, I mean, I, that could be really, really good. I will say right now, as it stands, um, Cam Rising supposedly is going to play and just really held out at the second half of that Utah State game last week, just basically out of caution. Um but supposedly he's going to play, which to me is, I'm I'm curious what, what what will be the consensus after this game is over? Who will be the better quarterback? Will it be Alan Bowman or will it be Cam Rising? Because to me, they're, I don't want to say the same guy or like interchangeable, but it's, I mean, one, the, yeah, the years in college right. are very similar. The fact that neither necessarily a true runner or anything like that or making with their feet, but the way that both process and throw the ball is different to me. So I'm curious who will be the, Hey, this, this, this guy's it, you know, consensus wise in the day. And I, I'm nervous to say that might be Cam rising. I just haven't seen him play in a game that's mattered in quite some time now. So I'm, 
you know, I mean, I'm, I'm very, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm super hopeful for Oklahoma State. I just am weary about the way we would win. Like the way we'd win is basically, hey, you know, we've, we've got, Dana Olgerson back there, you know, we're doing the air raid like it's 2011 and just throwing it over the top of them and beating them with athletes. And I don't, I don't think they're far off in the athlete perspective whatsoever. So it's going to be tough. I mean, no matter you're what. in a fun spot though, because <clears throat> like I said, you are kind of in that group of teams that could win it. You know, like you're, you're kind of in these like B, B plus teams that can win their conference each and every year. I think OSU is going to be in that situation, like in this new big 12, you know, like, and I think, I think this year is probably going to be pretty typical. Like you guys will probably be around nine wins. Some years you'll have 10 or 11 and make the playoff. You know, like this is, this is not a bad spot to be. I hope they continue to pay Gundy and keep him around. (laughs) We'll see. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see him doing anything wrong at all here by uh by Gundy standards so I hope he's good I don't know if anyone saw earlier today I'll try to insert the clip if I can find it real quick but he helped fix the uh fridge in the press box room good guy um, made channel four at least so it's it all around yeah. all around great guy yeah he was gotta he was keep those uh diet cokes um, cold you know oh well they're apparently we're a pepsi school I learned that as well today uh, from seeing the fridge so I mean can't can't be saying <laughs> can't be saying the dc on all the right. you know on the pod I guess um do you, do you want to guess what the what the line is for this game, the Oklahoma State Utah I've game? I've not looked. Um, who's at home? It's a, a home water. game. Yep. Home um, game, home State, I'm going to yep. say you guys are. Oh, that's that's very close. And Cam Rising is apparently playing. I think you guys are a point and a half yeah. home dog. I think you. It's too. Two and a half Utah, is where it opens. Utah so by far. two and a half. So it's oh, okay. Oklahoma right. State by two and a half. That's good. Yeah. The over under the over under set at 53 and a half. So I'm, you know, I mean, it in my mind, I don't know how you you would be able to tell me a little bit better here just because I, I think you understand college football lines a little bit more than I do. Only getting two and a half at home. I mean, is that technically <laughs> You know, we should be getting three. Three is the home that favorite. Me, and that means that it's neutral. Me says so there's we're... a lot of uncertainty about whether Rising is actually going to play. Frankly, because I think on paper, like Utah with their quarterback, that's why they're they're a top, you know, eleven team, twelve team, or something. But it's like he's just never on the field, guys. <laughs> like you can't really put him on the team on paper anymore. Like he just hasn't seen the field. So. I mean, yeah, to me, to me, he's the better quarterback when he's healthy, but like you can't count on him. So from a line perspective, yeah, that tells me I, I kind of don't think he's going to play because it feels like, it feels like Oklahoma state should be a little bit punished for squeaking out that Arkansas win. But I don't know. I mean, that's not far, you know, it's, it's close to a pick on either side, but uh, from what I just said, sounds like I should bet on Utah and take the points, but I won't do that. Not on the pod. <laughs> yep. Well, thanks at least. Thanks. Thanks. That'd be a great no, game. I, I, I look forward to sure. watching. Um, That's a great one. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, in case anyone's curious, hopefully see you there. Um, shoot a DM or something to pod here and we'll say hi, but, um, but yeah, going to the game this weekend should be, should be oh, a yeah. lot of fun. Should be a great game. It means at three, it's weird to me. That college game day and the Big Twelve kickoff or big you know big noon kickoff excuse me neither of them decide to go to a top fifteen matchup instead they're going just a little bit south of us to see OU and Josh Heupel yeah. it's a big noon and then I forget where the college game day is going but it's not a Big Twelve school I know it's got to be an SEC or Big Ten I, yeah it's I think the only time that a Big Twelve school will get it at least. It's not this weekend, then you know, and it won't be next week because I forget how Bama's playing. But I think it's Georgia yeah, next Georgia, weekend. Well, Georgia plays so Alabama. There's no way. Not not this weekend. Oh but yeah, next. yeah. So, the so wrong the, way. But this. Oh, you know what it is, dude. Yeah. I think yeah, they're so at Michigan, we'll USC. But that is a cool one. Oh, that's a cool one for sure. That's that's yeah. That's that's a cool one. We try to go yeah, for still living together in LA. Um. Yeah. Now the whole Big Ten change kind of makes me miss it a little bit. I gotta say. But with that being said. Could have seen Indiana just whoop up on UCLA this past weekend if I really yeah. wanted to. So, didn't miss anything there. Um, that being said, I 
initially thought earlier on the season Oklahoma State had a Heisman Trophy hopeful in the backfield, but through through three games, it's not looking great. But you know who is looking great from the Heisman Trophy perspective? When you now that is until the abdominal injury. So I don't I don't know. What are you? What What are the thoughts? What are the feelings behind behind Texas fans right now between the quarterback situation? It's not a bad place to be. I 